Our favorite time to hike in the Rocky Mountains is here. Every year in September, the needles on the larch trees briefly turn from green to gold. It makes for a magical scene on many mountain trails, albeit a brief one. The colorful transformation doesn't last long. There's typically about two to three weeks to see these vibrant colors. While the most popular hikes are truly amazing, the parking situation and the trails can be overrun with hikers. Gibbon Pass is a great alternative. While not the most spectacular large hike, there is plenty of golden color mixed into the day hike that also includes four alpine lakes. Heading out from Banff, the trailhead for the Gibbon Pass hike leaves from the Vista Lake parking lot off Highway 93 just before Kootenai National Park. If you cross the British Columbia border, you've gone too far. You will need a park pass to stop here, so be sure to get one on your way into Banff. The route to Gibbon Pass begins with a loss of about 100 meters elevation on the first 1.2 kilometers to Vista Lake. It's never fun to think about needing to gain 100 meters to finish a hike, but ignore that for now as you enjoy the beautiful vistas on the way down. Along the way, you'll enjoy the first of many nice views of Storm Mountain, coupled with the evergreen forests in the valley below. At Vista Lake, you'll encounter a bridged crossing across the outlet stream where you'll start your ascent. About halfway from Vista Lake to Arnica Lake, the forest transitions to spruce. Eventually, you'll spot larch trees along the trail. We stopped several times, noticing peekaboo views back to the parking lot. The hike reaches the shores of Arnica Lake at the five kilometer mark. With the towering rocky cliffs of Storm Mountain looming high overhead, the setting for Arnica Lake is quite stunning. It's a great spot to stop, take a few photos, catch your breath, and continue the hike. Leaving Arnica Lake, look carefully at the old sign and you'll see that someone crossed out miles and scraped a K into the paint. The GPS shows 2.3 kilometers from Arnica Lake to Upper Twin Lake. The trail climbs about 100 meters from Arnica Lake to a beautiful large filled saddle, then drops almost 200 meters to Upper Twin Lake. Gibbon Pass is visible from the saddle, but seems a long way off. After 4.5 kilometers of nearly non-stop uphill hiking from Vista Lake, you'll now start enjoying a wonderful descent down to the Twin Lakes. It doesn't take long for the large trees to disappear on this side of the ridge, but they are replaced with a beautiful conifer forest with a lush carpet of green moss. You may find it hard to believe that after six kilometers of hiking, you'll still be enjoying amazing views of Storm Mountain overhead. Storm Mountain is a massive mountain and the hike through Vista Lake to Arnica Lake to the Twin Lakes is one of the best ways to appreciate the size and beauty of this enormous Canadian Rocky Mountain. At the 6.9 kilometer mark, you'll get your first glimpse of Upper Twin Lake. The hiking trail leads to a large grassy meadow, which leads to the shores of Upper Twin Lake. The Twin Lakes campground rests in the forest between the upper and lower lakes. I'll leave a link here for my review on the campground. Right now I'm at Twin Lakes. It's a backcountry site uh, just north of uh, Highway 93. Really beautiful spot, kind of the halfway point to Shadow Lake. Lower Twin Lake sits just 750 meters beyond Upper Twin Lake. The trail descends another 50 meters or so and then emerges from the woods towards a double wooden beam bridge across the outlet stream of Lower Twin Lake. The waterfall on the far side of the lake is well worth the mucky detour, but be sure to leave enough time to retrace the one kilometer along the shoreline to rejoin the main trail. I would not recommend following the all trails route out from the falls as there is little to no trail and you run the risk of losing valuable time. The main trail is where you'll find all the remaining golden larches. Roughly two and a half kilometers and 250 meters elevation gain from the head of Lower Twin Lakes, you'll spot the Gibbon Pass plaque. If you are seriously considering extending your hike, there are a few trail options for Little Copper up and back from Gibbon Pass, or continue on the main trail to Shadow Lake Lodge. There is another backcountry campsite by the lodge, 
And if you have planned it with another vehicle, you can head back on the Red Earth Trail. If you're heading back the way you came, from Arnica Lake back to the parking lot can be a bit of a slog. For the longest time, we didn't seem to be getting any closer. In summary, you'll enjoy lots of golden larches, four mountain lakes, one mountain pass, and not many people. Total distance out and back is 23 kilometers, 713 meters net gain in elevation, and seven hours of hiking time. Better add at least three hours more for breaks, rests, and photography if you're slow like me. Really blessed to have spent some time here. Really quiet, really peaceful. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments or reach out on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Till next time, I'll see you guys on the trail. It's Papa Steve on the move.